In this video, we're going to talk about inheritance and the terminology that you will come across when talking about inheritance. Some important terms that you will come across when talking about inheritance is class hierarchy, superclass, subclass, indirect superclass or subclass, abstract class and polymorphism. When we talk about class hierarchy, we're talking about the relationship between classes which is usually shown by way of a tree diagram. What you'll find is that the more general classes are at the top of the tree diagram and the more specialized classes are found at the bottom of the tree diagram. What happens is that when you inherit from a class you will add your own properties and methods thus making the new class a more specialized version of the class that you've just inherited from. The superclass is the class above another class in the hierarchy. It is a more general class from which the classes below inherit. For example, in this diagram, the superclass of canine is mammal. When we talk about a subclass, we're talking about a class below another class in the hierarchy. It inherits from its superclass and has properties and behaviours of its own. So in this diagram, a subclass of mammal is feline and another subclass of mammal is canine. When we talk about indirect superclasses or subclasses, we're talking about classes that are not directly above or below each other in the hierarchy. So in this diagram, Domesticus is an indirect subclass of mammal, and so is Lupus, whereas Domesticus is an indirect superclass of Labrador. An abstract class is a somewhat incomplete class in that it cannot be instantiated itself but needs to be inherited by another class to be useful. An abstract class provides common behaviour to the classes that inherit from it so it can be considered to be a kind of template for those classes. Finally, polymorphism. Now this is actually quite a simple idea. If we imagine in this class hierarchy we have a method called speak then we can imagine that if we asked a retriever to speak we would get a bark but if we asked a feline to speak then we may get a roar or a meow. So you can see with polymorphism you can have a method that acts quite differently depending on the object that invokes that method. Well that's about it for the moment. I hope you found that useful.